Hello, I implemented uh, support uh, for Sparrow agent to be invoked from API uh, using uh, fast API uh, backend. And this is the script where uh, inside Sparrow where uh, endpoint is implemented and the, all other agents uh, currently available in Sparrow like uh, Llama in, uh, Index or um, Haystack or Unstructured agents are callable uh, for the same uh, through the same functionality, through, uh, through the same endpoint, and uh, you just need to pass uh, agent name that you want to invoke. And this is the generic method available here called inference. Right? And uh, we accept a set of parameters, and then we call backend uh, engine where a uh, request is being processed and uh, correct agent is invoked and uh, inference is invoked, uh, then input data is processed and uh, response is validated and, and so on. And then we get back the response, uh, check if uh, there was any error, uh, load uh, response in JSON format and return it back to the API caller. Okay, and here, uh, it's quite simple to start API uh, with Python process. We call API script and open uh, open it on port uh, 8000 here. And basically, then we can call the agent So because it's implemented in generic way. And this is the UI uh, uh, that comes out of the box from fast API application where we load endpoints and uh, we get uh, where we load list of endpoints and here we have uh, inference endpoint and uh, here we can pass the agent name that we would like to invoke in this case we invoke a Sparrow parse then we pass fields and Sparrow parse agent differently than other agents uh, supports uh, two options either you can pass a wildcard this this means all the fields will be extracted from the document out of the box and LLM will produce the uh, structure for you another option is to pass uh, uh, JSON schema with the field names and uh, and you can specify values here as the hint values as example values so that LLM would know to populate this field either with string or with integer or with float. For example, here towards the end of the schema we have uh, VAT, uh, which is the float number. Net worth is a float number, for example. Okay, then types, uh, it's empty because for, for Sparrow agent, we don't pass types separately. We pass everything through the, uh, through the schema. Keywords are not being used by this agent. Index name is not being used because we don't need to do, we don't need to run any ingest step uh, because we pass the document image to the visual LLM directly and the visual LLM is processing automatically. So we don't need to use any vector database and we don't need to do ingest step. Uh, under the options field, we pass uh, uh, backend name to be uh, executed. Uh, this specifies where a Sparrow agent would run inference. In this case, we're using private GPU from the hugging face. So we pass the option name hugging face and we specify uh, the space name which will be, which runs this GPU. This is our private space uh, that runs uh, GPU and this where inference happens. So if you would like to deploy the same uh, code because all the code is, uh, Sparrow code is available on the GitHub, this means you need to create your own uh, space on, on, on Hugging Face and deploy the code there and uh, run it in the same way. I'll be updating documentation uh, in the next uh, days or weeks uh, with clear explanation how to how to do this because the uh, because currently the current documentation doesn't include uh, uh, anything about Sparrow parse because this is our newest agent, let's say. Then group by roles is not being used for this agent, uh, update targets not used, and debug is true. Group by roles and update targets is not needed anymore because we pass uh, JSON as a schema uh, in, in request and uh, we, we define the schema there and we can uh, specify, for example, that within JSON we want to return certain collection with certain fields and everything is, uh, uh, is implemented through the fields. For example, if I go here, I see that 
we in in the schema we include invoice items and invoice items is a list uh, of uh, of properties so this is where uh, the structure is being defined everything in a single place okay we pass the file uh, uh, which is the image and if you go here this is the actual uh, sample file it's located under sparrow parse llm under data folder uh, and it contains the fields that will be extracted and also it contains the table this is the uh, basically a sample hello world document i'm using to test all the llms and compare the results okay so now we hit execute and then we can switch here and we can see that uh, request was executed uh, this is the image that uh, we submitted to the service and this is the the query that was sent to llm uh, q12 uh, visual uh, model with seven with seven billion parameters so we specify the list of fields and we specify uh, the schema and we say that uh, Please return response in JSON format by strictly following this JSON schema as the one that we get from from the request. Okay, it runs, and if you go uh, into the space, we can see that uh, this option to check the log, we can see that uh, checkpoints were loaded. and yeah, it executes uh, it runs on on uh, zero gpu from hugging face so sometimes can be quicker sometimes uh, slower in this case it executed in 73 seconds to process this page uh, with the uh, form fields and with the table and the result is correct uh, we get all the data here and then if i switch back to the Swagger UI, I can see that we got successful response here, and this is the response uh, with the data extracted from the from the document. So we get four rows, and this is the invoice summary table, and all the data is actually valid. <clears throat> if we we can check original document, so we got four rows and. Uh, this one is 1429 so it's 1429 right and the address for the client is uh, angela plane so we get address for the client angela plane which is correct okay so thanks for watching and uh, in this video i was trying to show and explain how uh, new Sparrow agent, uh, Sparrow Parse, is callable through API. And uh, the, the way request goes, uh, first it goes to the fast API application, then it goes to Sparrow agent uh, through the Sparrow engine, and then uh, it goes for the inference execution on Hanging Face private GPU backend, and then uh, response travels all the way back through the validation and comes back to the client. So thanks for watching and see you next time. Bye.